One of the very first times I went to Panama, there were lots of these little rocket frogs on the banks of the stream, all chirping like little birds. Five years later, the situation had changed completely. There were no frogs on the stream bank. It was like a bit of the spirit of the forest had left. These amphibians are endangered because of the amphibian chytrid fungus that has been sweeping through Latin America and has been wiping out amphibians as it spreads. Having captive assurance populations of these frogs is a pretty incredible privilege. Not only have we prevented an extinction, we get to learn all sorts of things about how diseases work and how to tackle these diseases. It's kind of surreal coming into this room every day and working with a species that's kind of functionally extinct in the wild, but the opportunity to put them back is the reason that we do what we do. This is a stopgap. The idea is always to put frogs back into the wild. If there's anything that's wrong with the environment, they are going to be affected first. We have a humongous responsibility to try to make a difference here, or we're gonna be losing a lot of amphibians to extinction. Without these interventions, we would have lost some incredible species. We've put all of the blood, sweat, and tears into collecting, keeping safe, and rearing in captivity. And we're gonna be starting our very first release trials in spring 2017. It's a crisis situation, but it's also an opportunity to actually make a real difference. The technological innovations have been incredible just in the last eight or nine years that I've been working on this problem. So I'm very optimistic about the future because of all of these breakthroughs in scientific discovery in other fields that are applicable to solving our problem. Frogs are just an incredible, beautiful, amazing creature that are the sound of the rainforest at night. My motivating force is rebuilding and restoring those incredible creatures to their rightful place.